ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Backseat Gamer, the show that asks the question, who wrote the book of love? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. John Lovitz. And Jason Amherst. Uh, John Benjamin. So we played one episode of Slayer's X and decided we weren't fans, so we're moving right along swiftly into Quick 2. Quacky 2. Quacky 2. Tutorial? All right. Well, I guess we'll start with it. Tutorial. A tutorial. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so far so good. It plays like men. It's a lot less herky jerky than Slayer's X was already immediately. And things aren't misspelled either. <laughs> that is also true. In fact, I need. I, I'd like the. Yeah, there we go. Aim assist. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. There we go. That's much better. Shift to crouch. Need a blue key for that. Okay. That means it must be around here somewhere. Really? That's interesting. That's something I don't think you had to do in the original game. Actually, you What's probably that? did, but it wasn't with a weapon wheel. What's that? Uh, activate your weapons or activate your inventory items hmm. but now that I'm thinking about it you probably do have to activate them in the original there just wasn't a weapon wheel I guess so definitely wasn't a compass in the original hmm Oh, I see. That could that could come in handy. That could come in handy. Medic. Medic will revive dead monsters. Ooh. Well, that's not good. No. It's a little bit of urgency to the game. There you go. Haha. -ha. You blew those Mises to pieces. Tutorial done. You have two people alive. It's all right. All right, good to know. Anyway, so this edition of the of the game, this is the Night Dive remaster, uh, much like they did with uh, the first Quake. As you can see, there's many expansions, including this down here. This is Quake 2 on the N64. They put it into this game as an expansion. Quake 2 on the PC and Quake 2 on the 64 are actually two different games. So that's why wow. it's in here as an expansion. So we're wow. even going to so we're going to play every Quake 2 imaginable. Starting with the original. Let's fucking do this. We get story! Keepers, that's a lot of Quake. Arguably we played like five expansions for the original Quake as well, so that was also a lot of Quake. Get it's like me and going Mike through every DLC in uh, Borderlands. Me and Mike saw a good chunk of it. It is true. Quake was the Dane and Mike show for a lot of it. We actually get backstory with this. This is full motion video and. Hmm. Okay, so I want to point out something. S-T-R-O-O-O-G-G. -O 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 -G -G. How would you pronounce that, Dane? 
S T R O G G. It's the name of the enemy in this game. Stroog. Okay, Jason, how would you pronounce it? Stroog. Okay, so the opening cutscene just pronounced it Stroog. In a few minutes, uh -huh. when there's a computer cutscene, uh, the computer voice pronounces it Strog. Hey. What the fuck is the pronunciation? Even the game can't agree on it. Also, our protagonist is going to have a name. You're going to see it in a minute. S surface easy, still looks clean. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Shit, Marines. Shit Marines. <laughs> are dangerous. I thought we were done playing Slayer's X. Well, I mean, if you have a Marine being entirely out of shit, it's probably not a good idea. Bitterman. Bitterman, Bitterman is our protagonist's name. Can't find a Bitterman. Oh, I, we had the same thought. I was thinking we were John O'Hurley. I was thinking we were John O'Hurley from Seinfeld. Wow, well, me and Jace came. Me and Jace both thought of the uh, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Oh. Holy shit, Bitterman! <laughs> Jesus Christ. AA discharge? No, I, I anal, sorry, I can only anal discharge. <laughs> anal anal discharge. Oh my! Yes. Oh, and Bitterman actually spoke, which is, uh, yeah, a speaking protagonist. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. He's lost control Just of the ship. Liz command. Loading zone, I think. Or landing zone. I think landing zone. BWL, we had no fucking clue what that meant, but LZ, I'm pretty sure that's landing zone. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I was going to get barfy for a second there. Almost dead. Oh, so you have primary and secondary objectives. Yes. I think, the, like I think the primary. Back. I think the primary one is more like a. Uh, it's an end of, it, to the end of level objective, and then everything else is just on the way. Do that well, main objective. It, okay, so like remember in Goldeneye when you had like, say a set of like five or six objectives. Correct. And you had to, you had to do like two or three of them to technically beat the level. Yes. All right, let's go Ooh. ahead and use this. <laughs> let's take a. Cause the adrenaline gives me one uh, a one health point permanent boost so I can I can have a hundred and one percent health now <laughs> I'll take this armor Get that guy. yeah this is def definitely loads different than uh, quake 264 which will we will get to eventually yeah. I actually might play that one second and go back and do the rest of the other expansions after that. Sounds good to me. You sound good to me. Bop of the boopy. Boop of the bop.
Yeah. Get fucked. Now this is more like it. This is a big step up from Slayer's X. That is true. <clears throat> How dare you Oh, wait a minute me. now. <clears throat> be careful now, because remember, those medics could be around, lurking around, and they revive monsters. That is true. Ooh. <laughs> Crud vapors. Oh no. <laughs> Crud vapors. Crud vapors. Woo. Who the yonta? You smell Baja. I smell Baja? Do you? I... I don't know. I haven't had any Mountain Dew. Oh. Well, what would you rather smell, Baja or Burnt Toast? Uh, I think Baja. Because if I smell okay. Burnt Toast, I'm having a stroke. And I should call an ambulance. Yeah. You should call the, whoa, Black Betty, ambulance. Ambulance. <laughs> whoa, Black Betty, ambulance. Indeed. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, do 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 I have a fucking compass that tells me where I'm supposed to go. That's fucking handy as shit. What the fuck? What the fuck, guy who made Slayer's X? Why couldn't you do that? Adrian Mc... McFucknuts or whatever the fuck your name was? I should never... There should never be any excuse I get lost. Because the compass will always set me free. Correct. I dislike you, Chain Gunners. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, but I dislike you. What? What were you? What were you kneeling, crouching down for? Were you gonna take a dookie? I think he thought he was trying to duck my shots, and didn't really work too well. Didn't work too well. No. Hmm. Upstairs we go. Let's go, Bitterman. So anyway, this will be a little different than uh, the last Quake game because there's going to be... Yeah, there's a load zone. It's like Levels aren't as defined in this one as they are in Quake 1. And there will be times we'll have to backtrack through a previous level to get to another level. But again, oh oh. but that is that is, I guess, why partially why you have a compass, so that that's never a problem. Um, th just a very interesting attention to detail. One of the enemies that you were fighting, you wounded him, and he was on his back and shooting. Yes. Like a last stand kind of thing. Yeah, Which I, have, I that, fucking appreciate that. I, I mean, they, that is... I this, applaud that. Yeah, this game is so is not... is so unlike the first Quake in some aspects. But it's such a step up, too. And it... The, honestly, this game doesn't get the, get the praise that it deserves. See, there's his last stand. This game does not get the praise that it uh, that it so richly deserves. This is a good Quake game. Was was that Custer? Yes. Prob probably. Now that I have a better fucking weapon, that was his last I just popped that dude's head off. Sometimes uh, if you pop their heads off, they'll just spray a last spray of bullets while they're headless, which is also a nice attention to detail. I I do love uh, me some Quake too, man. Quake I one is Quake. 
The first Quake game is really, really fucking good. No doubt about it. This game is just as good. I want to praise Quake 2 like I should. Yeah. Some people disliked it because it was, it was different than the first. And, I mean, I, arguably, why make your game the same as your previous game, you know? Why make your second game the same as your first? Do something out of the box. Explore boundaries, you know? This was a completely different engine than Quake 1. Like, explore your possibilities. Don't just make the yeah. same stale, boring shit. Yeah, isn't that right, Slayer's X? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Compass, po point me in the right direction. Alright. Oh, Compass, I show me the way. Compass, show me the way. I want oh. you to show me the way. So my fortune. I stepped, so I stepped out of the way because I thought he might spray me. So my fortune. So my fortune. Oh, I see. Wants me to go this way. I'll have to come back through this area eventually to get to another part of the level, but mm -hmm. I think my objective, one of my objectives is this way. Have mercy. Have mercy. Okay. I hit a load zone. Locate communication center. Okay, easy to know. Okay, I exploded him, so I don't have to worry about him last standing me. What is that? Oh, it's a rebreather. So I can breathe underwater, probably. Nice. Alright. And it looks like I'm going to have to need it, so let's pop it on. Doodly doodly do. Everything has seems to have a purpose in this game. That's that I really love the thought that they've put into this. You found a secret. You did a thing. Oh shit! I straight up found a secret, secret level. level. Locate a powerful weapon. Oh, I have a shotgun now. Sweet. So I'm assuming I'm probably going to get the uh, BFG 10K. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I love their noises they make. Better than the other game where the guy going like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Machine gun, okay, good to know. I still have a decent amount of health. Let's go! Going for a ride. Thank you for the ride. They're gonna take you for a ride, sock cuckers. Hello, this is Snowskate. Hey, what the hell is going on there? <laughs> it's Quake 2, Jerry. It's Quake 2, Jerry. <laughs> I, I love that meme making fun of uh, the uh, the lights in uh, Kramer's oh, room. Oh, my fuck. Good pathfinding of the game by the enemy. I'm gonna take you for a ride, Jerry. See, that one that one started spraying bullets at me with its head off. I saw. Oh, fuck, cock shit. It's a trap! Yeah, that was a trap. I'll take you for a ride. Shit! Go play you. Go play you. They'll take you for a ride, cocksuckers. 
You'll get caught up in the cocksucker. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Stop it! I like that. I like that one. That was there. There he. That one hit, did it too. Struggling to live after I shot them. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, I see. What? Must be in an IKEA. If that's the case, you'll be there for eight days. Oh, arrows pointing the way out. Oh, I got you. Red key. Red key, daddy little cutie. Was it? Was the compass pointing the way out? Nope, sure isn't. This must have been the red key door. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Oh, I, I know what they are. They just look they look a lot better in this game because they've been because of the remaster. <laughs> they, look, they look a lot blockier in the original version. I see it. Turret thing. Turd monsters. <laughs> Where do I go, Compass? Compass! Comp and Compass. The compiest compass I comped. Nice revenge! <clears throat> Drill, fork, drill, and fork. Oh, Both fuck. What never, what never, will hardly ever. Super shotgun! So it wasn't the 10k, I'll probably get that later on. Super shotgun's really good though. Fuck off. Continue fucking off. No friends, let us be calm and fuck on. Yeah, he was fucking on, fuck alright. Fucking on me. Fuck on. Fuck off. Damn! Alright, yep, that is a good way. Wow. <laughs> Super Shotgun is good in this game. Why do you ask? <laughs> Boom. Alright, let's go. Going for whatever's next. I got the super shotty. We, we can go back. Oh, God. I need, He's flying, I, I need help. Or health, rather. I need help, too. That would be great. But I need health. And why you fuckers drop a health box? That would be nice. Shells, that does help. No, don't shoot. See, I hate when they spray when after I've knocked their heads off. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it. Well, oh, armor. I do like that attention to detail, though. All right, back to the main path here. All right, where are we going, comp? I ass. God, this, that, God, the this compass way. is so handy. Which which Sonic game was it? This way. Is that Sonic in Sonic 06, maybe? I think. The Sonic Heroes, the one with Omo Chow. Not even the Omo Chow. It was just it was like some kind of like little Navi kind of looking thing. There's some health. Damn. Alright. 
up we go. Fuck you. Machine gun I'm not probably going to use yet. Uh, uh Bushki. Nice. All right. I will save that. Because you actually have to activate the quad damage to use it. Quad damage. It's fucking nice, by the way. But I'm not forced to use it when I collect it. Uh, this, this part of this level is in, in the N64 version, it's just designed differently. There are some things that are the same, but, like, not very much. It is, on the whole, a different experience. That, plus, I'm sure the, uh, graphics are different. There's also not, like, this shit in the bottom of this pit in the N64 version, so, there's that. Oh shit, oh shit. I have made an error. Death trap. Yeah. In that bottomless pit. Oh shit. All the way. All the oh, way. Keep on dancing. All the way. Boy, got this. All the way. Way. All oh my god, I thought I was the only one who knew that. Nope. I, I'm aware of, uh,. The Jacksepticeye song by oh, Shmo Yo Ho. Accent on the Yo. Simple challenge. I call bullshit on it. Grab it with your teeth. One is all you need. Mother Ape Ass. Mother Ape Ass. I call bullshit on that. Mother Ape Ass. Great, great Steve. Why aren't your legs Why magnetic? Your legs magnetic. Great, great, great Steve. Well, that's just perfect, perfect isn't, isn't it? Great, great, Steve. Hope you die, hope you die, 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 die in that bottomless pit. Oh shit! All the way. Uh, I like I like Jack Septic Guy. He seems like he'd be fun to hang out with. Absolutely. Jack, if you're listening to this, you're a very beautiful man. And so is Motorhawk. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Oh, it's this fucking thing. I hate these things. There we go. I need this health, holy shit. Okay. Continuing. Primary objective complete. Wow. Blue key card to Bunk enter alien engine? bunker. All right, let's move along. Where's the? Can't We hold you in our farts. It makes me wanna. Oh fart. shit! I didn't realize I had the grenades out. Super shoddy, please. Hey, all right. Thank you. 
Now we will share a lifetime of the fondest memories. With we, it's the friendships so, we made along the way. Are you singing the Camp on Awana song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this the part of the song that nobody yeah. remembers because everybody only remembers that I, then we both will fart? The, the very end. Yeah. It's I hope we never part. Now get it right or pay the price. Camp on! I want everybody to, I want everybody to remember We've had one of the cast members of that show on the mental cast. <laughs> Just everybody remember that. We it's have spoken true. with Donkey Lips. It's true. It's the hip true. And he relentlessly hit on Chelsea and Jillian. <laughs> Chelsea Tarkington can say that she was hit on by Donkey Lips. I, it is true. I <laughs> the sky is blue. I haven't had to use my quad damage yet, so that's good news. <laughs> Wrote a song about it. Oh, like, this. Yes, not. For a song about what? Uh, quad damage. Oh. I like to hit, hit, go. Wow, it's four times the damage power, except when I piss. Ah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> but for now, I had the worst diarrhea the other day. Run a song about it. Like the heat. Here it goes. I had the worst diarrhea ever day. From out of my ass, it did spray. <laughs> Thank you. I tried the uh, Aha Blast Gelato today. Oh, really? How was that? It, it was. It was okay. I've heard, I've heard overpriced. That, yeah, and also that it's good that it comes in very small containers because it's just a little much. They 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 didn't even give me a fucking spoon. They gave me a fork. And how pray tell? That's very strange. Gelato with a fork. Exactly. Very carefully, I guess. I wrote a song about it. Want to hear it? Here it goes. One time I ate gelato with a fork. I didn't look cool. I looked like a big fucking door. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it wasn't really anything in impressive. In fact, uh, it wasn't very gelato-y either. <laughs> Like, I've heard, I've heard from more than one person that supposedly they're also coming out with a Baja Blast kind of cheesecake. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a key lime pie, basically. I I probably actually would like that. It might be good. Yeah, I know that's, that's probably going to be better than the uh, gelato because the gelato wasn't like a gelato. It was more like. Uh, R reminds me of like cheap ass Italian ice that you get from like a freaking so, frozen food section. So what you're trying to say to Taco Bell is, thank you very much. You missed the gelato. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you can only push a man so far. <laughs> I think Jace's brain froze too. I think he had to he had to process that one also. 
It's like... <laughs> I'm Man. not even home to press the freaking goodbye button on my uh, soundboard. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> like, boy, you, you stretch. It's like, boy, boy, you stretch for that sticks reference, didn't you? <laughs> Wrote a song about it. Like, here and here it goes. Mike's joke was so bad it made me poop my pants. I don't have to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. The only thing that would be worse is if Ashley made the show. Yikes. <laughs> hey, look. Um, I, don't, I don't do the cocaine. I don't do the coke. Unless it's in a glass. That is an actual thing that Ashley Miller said. Yeah, I, I am aware. T Tony Khan's got to lay off the booger sugar. If you will, be. Hey everyone. I hello fellow drug dealers. I would like two of the cocaines, please. Right. That uh that thing I sent with uh uh Tony Khan uh in the Simpsons was uh Pretty funny, though. That thing I sent you. Uh, you know, now, calm down, totally only only. The only uh, the wrestling podcasters are greatly ately ately. Uh, everything is greatly ately ately. Oh, hell, greatly ding dong crap. Can you podcasters ever shut up? I just like um, <laughs> after he tells off Bart Vince Russo. I am swerved and appalled. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Mr. Khan, I don't, I, I think you'll find Ru, uh, Russo didn't do anything. Do I, I hear this kind of putting in? in? <laughs> it's got to be Eric Bischoff. Wrestling's and, answer to who killed WCW. But you see, and what makes that even funnier is that, yeah, Eric Bischoff does do that a lot. He does fucking funny. Yeah, that, I, you know what? The, the faces are photoshopped in so well, and that's what makes it even funnier. Well, who is Krusty supposed to be? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, walk up a flight of stairs. Now that's funny. <laughs> he's a clown, so I'm oh, assuming yeah, Jer comedian. I'm assuming Jericho. He yeah. No. no, definitely not Jericho. Oh yeah, the comedian, the only wrestling podcast that doesn't make me laugh. And as for you, I don't know you, but I'm sure you're a jerk. Hey, I'm hey, only a few minutes. What's going on? <laughs> you are a relevant Java. Oh god, hey, hey, I may be irrelevant in the Java, but I. Uh, what's the third thing you said? And that and that fits too because. It's fucking Disco Inferno. Like, are we really going to take his opinion seriously? He came in... The very he, he once came in third place on Win Ben Stein's money. So... But then at the very end... Freaking... Jim Cornette. <laughs> to have Jim Cornette as Homer Simpson... Jim, you are the worst human being I've ever met. Hey, I got hey, a Hello, I'm Homer Simpson. Thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> I, really, I really am not a fan of the young bucks. Or should I say the young cucks? <laughs> I just wanted a sprite. <laughs> That whole tirade is just like I could actually picture Tony Khan freaking yelling at them all like that. I I can absolutely see Tony Khan have the fucking break out this guy. Stop making fun. I mean he he has gone off on a few of them too. Doesn't surprise me. 
Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. If, if memory serves correctly, I think he's gone off on uh, Bischoff a few times, actually, too. Which is hilarious, because he had Bischoff as a guest on AEW early on, too. Yep. I, I remember that. Tony's kind of silly. He is kind of silly, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what else is kind of silly? Wow. Slayer's X. <laughs> True. <laughs> that, that, that game was ridiculous. It was. It was almost ridiculous. You know what else I was ridiculous? Know. I'll kill you. What else? Val was Venus says that. Val Venus says that Sami Zayn and Gunther would be fighting over who would have been carrying his bags in the Attitude Era. Okay, Val. Sure, you Val. Say, sure, if you say so, Val. Pretty sure, pretty sure Gunther would have knocked Val Venus's fucking lights out, but all right. <laughs> I'd pay to see that happen. Honestly, yeah. I I can fucking see Val Venus like, hey, jobber, take my bags. And Gunther just chops the fucking shit. <laughs> right? Chops his fucking head <laughs> off. <laughs> Who was that? Who was so that? so hard his dick falls off. Who, who was that man? He smelled like marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was that vaguely homosexual man? Uh, uh, what, what was your name? Val? Is that the I, woman's name? I, what, your, your name is Val Penis? That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh. and, Whoa, I, and, I'm, and I'm German. We shit on glass tables. Who's the other person that he said would be uh, fighting over? Uh, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Oh, you know, Sami would not take a would not put up with that bullshit either. Nope. He called it El yeah. Generico, and El Generico would kick his ass. Yeah. It, it, but isn't El Generico busy with the orphanage in Mexico? Yeah, but he'll he'll come up to knock Val Venus's head off. I'm sure of it. Oh, okay. That's an important cool. enough cause, I think. God damn it. <laughs> you are a fuck. I mean, let's let's put things into perspective right now. The only thing that Val Venus is good for nowadays is people trolling him on Twitter. Yeah. Well, because somebody's attempting to buy his trademark. Ugh. So that uh, Val can't own it. I don't know if that's worth much. I was going to say, as funny as that is, I don't think it's worth much. It's, it's worth it is, uh, so that it's for trans rights. Oh, in that case, yeah. Yeah, in that case, absolutely do it. Okay, we're going left. Into the surprise yeah. station. And remember, folks, Val Venus is a right-wing scumbag. Yep. Or I think he... Actually, I think he says, I'm libertarian. He's a libertarian because he smokes weed. Mm. So, remember, if I'm, you are right-wing, but you are a pothead, you are a libertarian. A libertarian. Ooh, I'm Val Venus, <laughs> and I'm a tiger librarian or whatever. I don't care. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiger lib tiger librarian. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Well, there's the there's the there's the title of this episode. <laughs> I'm a I'm a tiger, tiger librarian. librarian. Yeah. Because I don't know what the fuck that means.
Who's shooting? Fuck. Him, 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 him. Now notice, ah, notice, what? Well, Oh, we are at the, we are close to the end of this report session. And this, this flew by was very enjoyable. Absolutely. Unlike, unlike yeah. Slayer's, Slayer's X. X. Yeah. Fucking Slayer's X, yeah. Yeesh. That is drink. Hmm. Well, we will definitely be playing more of Quake 2. No doubt about yeah. that. Yay, yay. We finished the first game. I always intended to play through the second. So. Mm -hmm. Just stand there. Look at look at the wall. Cause this might be the time for my quad damage. Ooh, I'm blue. <laughs> quad laser. <laughs> Dabba dee dabba die. Good time for quad Blue damage. man go! Blue man go! Alright, that went pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the adrenaline because I want the full health so 32 health now I'm at 102 probably should avoid those lasers ah shit oh sweet good old power cube took those lasers blah 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 fuck you I need this. I also, oh, uh, I also at like the time of this recording, did you hear about uh, the hilarious uh, uh, story of PlayStation's game Concord? No. Oh, fuck off, you stupid enemy. I didn't know they could uh, jump that It will high. be taken offline on September 6th. And all players will receive a full refund. Uh, what game is being taken offline? Concord. Uh, New Hampshire? PlayStation's latest hero shooter. That was released on PC and PlayStation 5. Never heard of it. Perhaps why that's they're taking exactly. that's why they're taking the I was to say. <laughs> It, it was, it was, we have Guardians of the Galaxy at home. Oh. It, it played like Overwatch and looked like knockoff Guardians of the Galaxy. What I also appreciate about this game is if you have armor, the the armor drains first before the health. That's always nice. Well, isn't that usually what happens? No, I, there's been some games I've played where it just lessens the amount of health you lose. Uh huh. But in this instance, absolutely... It's the armor first. Sweet. Oh, I got another power cube. Tracks disabled. Oh. Uh, tracks disabled. It's it's weird disabled. Get up on the fuck. Get up on the fuck. Get up up and lose your butt. Get it up and lose your blood. Yeah. Uh, I just sent a picture of what the character designs looked in the game. Oh, I guess it's just mm -hmm. this way. Overwatch, but forgettable. And it looks hideous. Overwatch, but forgettable. No. No, Overwatch has but. It's called Tracer. Tracer's booty. I'd Tracer her butt. <laughs> Moody has a point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This this was the last of Jim Ryan's bad decisions at Sony before he left. So, good riddance! Do bad rubbish.
Damn! That's how you deal with those things. You make them attack. And you back away from them so they don't hit you. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hybrid Theory. Ladies and gentlemen, the new singer of Linkin Park. Yay! Joe Hendry. I, I'm actually, I would be down for that. <laughs> I, I, I would be game for that. Yeah. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> no, no, no. Nay, nay, nay. Alrighty. <laughs> ah, more than ever. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Compass. Uh, compass. Compass. I see a waypoint, but no arrows. There we go. Wow, what is up with freaking former wrestlers just getting? They're, they're all becoming people who yell at clouds. What happened now? Former uh, WWE wrestler Paul London. Anyone can be a wrestler now. The standards and integrity have been lost in the wrestling business. That really bothers me. I like seeing what creative people do with wrestling now. The athleticism is there and better than it has ever been. It's outstanding and spectacular, but I don't buy in the way that I used to. I don't feel the way that I used to. We're all marks at the end of the day. There are varying degrees of markism. We all believe, we all want to be led in a, along in a great story. I, I imagine I want to as believe. he's saying this, he's slowly pulling on his clown shoes, putting on the clown <laughs> makeup. <laughs> I Wrestling mean... is overly planned, choreographed, and overly produced. Really? It takes a lot of the soul out of the wrestlers. Can somebody please shut the pothead up? <laughs> Jesus. Between him and fucking Valve, it's like, can somebody please just cut these freaking old guys up? Remind me again, how big of a superstar was Paul London? Mm. Mm. Yeah. You mean one half of one of the longest reigning world tag team champions of all time? No, you're right. He sucks. He's irrelevant. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> you, you, were really, you, were, you were really trying to get me there, weren't you? <laughs> Too bad I'm a stubborn jack. For a second, I thought you said you were a southern jackass. Like that's just in, that's just inherently wrong. The store doesn't open. Yeah, I'm not from the south. How do we get out of here? It's pointing me back towards that door, but the door don't open now. Do you need a key? Yeah, maybe that's the uh, trick. Maybe. Do I got to put the cube, the power cube back? Maybe that's what I got to do. <laughs> Well, no. Nope. Um, 
I have to use the bathroom, so I will talk to you guys late. Well, actually, why don't we just go ahead and... Uh... uh End it. Yeah, since it's time. Uh -oh. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, that'll do it for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos for Dane Forge on Jason Ambers. I'm Mike Riley's and see you next time on Backseat Gamer. All right, it wasn't that. It wasn't that uh, emergency.